What's going on, Griddle Nation? Chef Nathan Lippy here. In this video, we're gonna talk about crepes, or crepes. We're gonna go over the basic recipe, but before we do that, I wanna talk about our all new Blackstone four piece professional griddle crepe kit. This thing has all the tools you need to become a crepe master in no time. So let's get into the basic recipe. It's really, really simple. Uh, the crepe kit makes this really, really easy. We're gonna add our flour to a bowl, then we're gonna add some water. We're also gonna add a bit of whole milk and some melted butter. It's important that the butter is melted. We're also gonna add two whole eggs. We're also gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract and some sugar. You can cut this out if you don't want them to be sweet, but I feel like it's a really good base recipe. Now give this a really aggressive mix so that it's nice and smooth. Now we wanna let it sit for at least an hour so the starch has a chance to rehydrate and the bubbles go away. Set your Blackstone to medium heat, add a little bit of butter, and wipe it thin with a paper towel. Now we're gonna add some of our batter, about a ladle full, and we're gonna take our tool. Our crepe spreading tool makes this so easy. We're just gonna do circular motions with our hands to get an even, uh, and really thin and even crepe. That's what we want, thin and even. Then we're gonna take our little spatula, get up under the edges, make sure it's nice and loose. If you seasoned your griddle properly, it should be non-stick. If it's not perfect, that is okay. Use your spatula and just flatten it back out. Cook it for another 60 seconds and you're done. Uh, just to make sure you guys get it, let's do this one more time. We're gonna start with a little bit of butter, wipe it thin so it's a delicate thin layer of butter, add about a ladle full of our batter and take our tool. Now this is why it's so important to have our crepe kit. This tool makes life so easy. It makes your crepes come out perfect every time. Put one edge into the center of your batter and just make smooth circular motions. Don't push down, just let the weight of the dowel do all the work. A few circles and you're good to go. You've got a perfectly smooth and thin crepe. Now we're gonna take our other super important tool, our spatula. This makes it really easy to get up underneath the crepe to make sure it's nice and loose. And it also gives you a really great tool to give it a good old flip. Grab it in the middle, flip it over, and you're done. Guys, these really, really are simple. Uh, if you've never made crepes before, they're not as intimidating as you might think. Uh, the technique is really easy, but you really also need the tools. Having the right tools makes life so wonderful and easy, especially when it comes to something as delicate as crepes. Uh, so you guys, you've seen the video, you've seen me do it just a few times. Uh, you guys can find our crepe kit at Walmart all across the country and start making these at home. They're really fun. I mean, you could do sweet flavors or you could do savory flavors, uh, but this is the basic recipe. Take this wherever you want. I mean, um, making crepes, it's not like, it's not the most difficult thing in the world, but it does take a little bit of finesse and having the right tools makes all of the difference. I mean, getting your dowel right down into the middle and giving it those smooth, even, uh, thin and consistent, I don't want to say it. It's, it's not hard. It really is tools. Everything that you guys cook at home, everything that you've cooked on your griddle, you know it's about the tools that you use and the technique that you use with those tools. And so this is basically what you need. Be sure to check out our four-piece uh, griddle crepe kit at Walmart across the country. And if you want this recipe and a ton more, go to blackstoneproducts.com. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.